Generally, I believe it is providing life-sustaining um, goods and services. Uh, we do have a situation where we have a concentration on, 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 on ecosystem goods and services, but they have a lot of functions in addition to those that are important in a certain area like landscape. Um, the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment, for instance, have indicated we have provisioning services, or we have um, services that are not are supporting services, and we have other services that are not basically in um, the, 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 the context of the um, agreement at this point. <coughs> and I believe Sotoyama should be able to, um, to, to provide not only tangible goods and services, but the other services, the supporting services that we have in the, in the convention. The issues relating to, for instance, um, the spiritual aspects, the aesthetic aspects, the working together, those kinds of things which are also part of the, um, of the ecosystem services uh, is very, very, very important also. In, a, in addition to life-sustaining goods and services which we are accustomed to like food, medicines, um, wood fire and so on of, and, and those issues. But these are also important, but we have some other the issues that are regulating, for instance, regulating water, uh, regulating climate, for instance, in the whole issue that is happening now in the climate change debate is very important. And I believe these are some of the goods and services that we get from ecosystem that are not currently um, very topical, but are very useful. Those supporting services and those provision and services are very important as well. I believe that some of the lessons is that we have multiple, multiple um, approaches to, to the same end. The issue is sustainable use. The issue is how do we get um, um, improvement in the livelihoods. And there are di different methodologies that, that can be used to arrive at that. And Satoyama provides an example. It actually provides to me a, a very good um, example going forward by renewing um, the focus on living in harmony with nature people living in harmony in nature. I believe we must return to that kind of thinking so that it will affect the behavior that we, we, we currently exhibit on a global scale. I believe the initiative can assist us in kind of making us refocus on nature. I, mean, I think that is, to me, one of the fundamental issues. Um, we do have traditional ways of doing things based on what the initiative is telling us. But maybe we can mix some of the traditional with the modern. And maybe we can also look for new ways of doing old things and old ways of doing new things. I believe that is what I believe is the value added in terms of the Satayama at this point. And again, the fundamental issue is the concentration on the ecosystem and the focus on the ecosystem. Uh, we tend to basically focus on what is it from a human perspective not what from, from the ecological point of view. So we, we think in terms of the goods and services that we can get to benefit our own life, not recognizing and not putting any focus on the ecosystems themselves and how the, the interplay with the various um, species and organism, organisms within the ecosystem and their own, um, their own, their own cycles of life in, in, that, in, that, in that sphere. I think it's important. We tend to focus more on the human aspect what is in it for the human? But I think we need to also look at the other relationships within the ecosystem. I think that is what Satoyama is bringing forth to us. Not only look at the human dimension, but look at the ecosystem as a whole and the components of the whole ecosystem. I would like to see the initiative being supported. Um, First of all, I mean, to get support, I believe we need to have the initiative well-crafted. It must be able to, to resonate with the other members of the Conference of the Parties. And I believe if it, if it is well-crafted and um, shows um, value added, I think it can be supported. And I believe that we could find a way to incorporate it within the strategic plan of the convention or within some other instrument of the convention, maybe in the public awareness, public information, uh, maybe in the post-2010 target, but once it is rooted in one of the um, existing mechanisms of the, of the convention, I believe there is a good point going forward. But as I said, it requires resources, and um, I think we need to, to, look, to look at that.